Good day everyone and welcome to Financial Accounting. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare a depreciation schedule with Excel. On April 1st, 2007, Madsen Industries purchased new equipment at a cost of 325000 The useful life of this equipment was estimated at 5 years with a residual value of 25,000. We're going to use straight line depreciation method. And this is what we need for our depreciation schedule. Number of periods, month and year, monthly depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and book value. Our first month here is April. And monthly depreciation expense is equal to 5000, which is 300,000 divided by 60. And please note here that we only need to depreciate 300,000, which is the difference between the cost and the residual value. And since we're going to use formulas to make it easier to prepare the schedule, I'm going to lock these two cells so we can copy it down. I'm pressing F4 for first cell and for second cell. Um, you can see there's little dollar signs here. So basically what Excel does for us, it locks these two cells, D33 and D34. And when you copy the formula down, it still will reference D33 and D34. Accumulated depreciation is only 5000 this month since it's been only one month. And the book value is equal to our cost of 325 less April's depreciation expense. Let's do the next month. Let's see if our formula works. We're going to copy it down from April and when I double click, you see it references same cells D33 and D34. Accumulated depreciation is 5000 from April plus 5000 from May, which is 10000. And book value is 320 less May depreciation expense. Let's do one more month just to make sure our formulas are correct. We have 5,000 monthly depreciation expense, 15,000 accumulated depreciation, which is 5,000 multiplied by three accounting periods. And our book value is 310, which is the difference between the balance in prior accounting period and monthly depreciation expense. We need to depreciate our equipment over five years, which is 60 month or 60 accounting periods. So let's make sure we have 60. And the next step is to select our formulas that we just created. We are going to copy them down. And you see in the lower right corner there's a little cross. So you will need to double click on it and let's see what Excel can do for us. Uh, voila! Our schedule is done. The next step is to make sure that our balances are correct. Um, our accumulated depreciation at the end of year 5 
should be equal to 300,000 same as total here let's scroll down and see and yes it is 300,000 and the book value at the end of year 5 should be equal to residual value 25,000 let's see uh, yes it is 25,000 excellent we are all done I hope you found this video helpful uh, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day